Okay, there's going to be two videos on dividing decimals. This first one is dividing decimals by whole numbers. So if we read here, when dividing decimals, make sure that the divisor, the number you are dividing by, is a whole number. This next dot point tells us what to do if it's not. We're not going to deal with that in this video. Okay, so in this video, the thing that we're dividing by is a whole number. So we'll skip the next dot point and we'll do that in the next video. Once it's a whole number, divide the numbers as usual, making sure the decimal point in the answer is directly above the decimal point in the question. So in other words, we say, how many times does 8 go into 54.6? So we divide it. We say how many 8s into 5? It goes 0, so carry the 5. How many 8s into 54? That's 6. 6 8s are 48. So we've got 6 that we can carry over. How many 8s in 66? That's 8. 8 8s eight are 64. So we put down a 0 and we've got 2 to carry over from the 64 because we had 66. 8s into 20 is 2. 2 8s are 16. We put down another 0, we carry the 4 over because this was 20 and 2 8s were 16, so we've got 4 to carry over, and 8s into 40, 5 8s are 40. So it finishes there. So once the divisor is a whole number, divide the numbers as usual, which we've just done, and then we'll make sure the decimal point in the answer is directly above the decimal point in the question. There's the decimal point in the question, so there's the decimal point in our answer. So the answer is... 6.825 but I need to read it says to two decimal places this is three decimal places so one two at once so I look at the third decimal place that is five or bigger so if the one after the one that's required is five or bigger we round this two up to a three so the answer it correct to two decimal places is approximately 6.83 we'll do another example so if I have 6,321.09 divided by 8. So first step, make sure that the divisor, the number that we're dividing by, is a whole number. And as I said in this video, it's going to be a whole number. Once it's a whole number, divide in the normal way. So I say 8 into 6,321.09, divide in the normal way. 8 into 6 goes 0 carry over the 6. 8 into 63, 7 eighths are 56, which means I've got 7 left over. 8 into 72, 9 eighths are 72, so that's exactly, so there's nothing left over so, to carry. So 8 into 1, it doesn't go, so I need to carry the 1 over. 8 into 10 is 1, there is 2 left over. <coughs> 8 into 29, 3 eighths are 24, so I've got 5 left over to carry. 8 into 50, 6 eighths are 48. So put down my 0 and I've got 2 to carry over. 8 into 20, 2 eighths are 16. Put down my 0, I've got 4 to carry over. 8 into 40 goes exactly 5 times. So I've done this, the next step, divide the numbers the usual way. Now in my answer, I make sure my decimal point in the answer is directly above the decimal point in the question. So in other words, it goes there. So my answer here, 790.13625. Let's say it also says to do two decimal points, 1, 2. I look at the next number, that is bigger than 5. So this 3 here rounds up to a 4. So the answer is approximately 790.14. So going back over the steps, when we, ha when we are dividing by a whole number, we divide the numbers as usual, and then because we're dealing with decimals, the, I guess the new thing that we're learning is in the answer, the decimal point is directly above where the decimal point was in the question.